Randy, are you starting the video? Roger, Roger. Look where we're at, people! Oh, <laughs> uh oh, Shelly's in peacock mode. We're gonna get a good video today. <laughs> See the <this> shirt? <laughs> Everybody likes this shirt, so what can yeah. I say? And we have our great friends, Doug and Sandy, hiking with us again today. Sandy's going to narrate this video. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go. Doug locked me out of the car. I'm not sure he wanted to bring me here. Right. We're going to go see what right. we can see, guys. <laughs> 1,200 petroglyphs. That's what you're going to see. I think this is going to be like the other site was where we're going to get rangers to take you up there maybe. the same mark and have another hook to say oh no 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 that's this and there are different stories so again it's all we think mm. or we feel but we, nobody knows for certain but look at this you see all that over there you see what it looks like that's yeah. Beaver Creek style on this wall again I would say they are basically the exact same types of images Beaver Creek style yeah look at the images that are carved from the inside of here and all along the up to the down west point yeah and tell me that they're not completely different than all of this. It's, it's, and mm. all the other docents said the same thing. So this book says this is all one thing, mm. but everybody that's in the know, or, and mm -hmm. some of these guys are archeology span professors and whatnot, have said, no, no, they believe that these particular markings were done in the archaic period prior to the Sinaans actually getting here. Mm -hmm. So this was all hunter gatherers that just came through. Mm -hmm. And of course they were gonna come through here you're going to follow the creek. The creek's got water and it's got food sources. It's got, you know, you, you, mm -hmm. the hunting's going to be better. Mm -hmm. the animals are going to come here to drink and whatnot. So yeah. that's why they would come through here again. But hunter gatherers, they move with the seasons and they keep going. Mm -hmm. When the Snellins came, they started to farm. Do an, oh yeah, they're farming, the agriculture. The farming community, and they grew cotton and things like that. They could, they made cloth. Mm -hmm. And actually, from what I've not seen it myself, but what I've heard, some of the most impressive. So uh, here, yeah. Way back in the day, again, I didn't realize that they were actually growing cotton and making weaving it. They actually made this strand of it. There's and made one shaman right in the center. Very impressive. Okay, there's the one shaman in the center. And here's the face and the lichens, you can see it. And that's the crack that they thought was significant. Very interesting. Okay guys, so um, we just learned this backside here does not get sunlight. And their belief was that is where anything that signified a woman was put that the woman represents the moon and the man represents the sun. I can zoom in a little bit to show you some of it. There you go.
think this is the biggest grasshopper I have ever seen in my life. Holy cow. Whoa, dude, you are huge. Are you from another planet? <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay, guys, this was another incredible spur of the moment hike that we took. We were in the area and had heard about this place from a couple of people, so we wanted to come and check it out. And oh, to ha see so many petroglyphs all in one area was amazing and the stories that um that the ranger was sharing with us was it was too much to try to videotape for all of you guys so you just need to come out here to v bar v and check it out yourself so with that we're going to go ahead and end the, the video here and we will just catch you in the next one and hope you have a wonderful day i love to you all bye mm -hmm.